Okay guys, so first, let me set the background. So this tournament is an FLW BFL. Now what that means is that it's FLW, but it's basically as low as you can get. Now that doesn't mean it's not good competition. That just means that, well, I'm not fishing against Scott Mark. The way that works, you can either be a boater, which is a guy who drives a boat, or a co-angler who just sort of sits in the back of the boat and fishes. Now the way FLW does it is it just shuffles everybody up and gets one random boater and one random co-angler and puts them together. Now these two are not on a team, they don't fish together, they fish out of the same boat. Which means all the boaters are against all the other boaters and all the co-anglers are against all the other co-anglers. So if you see where I'm going, the boaters have a choice of what they do. The co-anglers are really at the mercy of their boater. Luckily, I got one of the nicest boaters in the tournament and then here's where the actual footage picks up. Okay, I'm at the ramp and now I'm just waiting for my boater. I believe we're gonna have a pretty good time. Something weird. Yep. Someone else's O line. Oh. Okay, so we fish this whole pocket and we've only got one bite. You know, we're we're gonna leave. Try something else. We didn't we didn't fail to catch fish, but we figured out how not to catch. So at this point, we had left that other pocket, we had fished a little bit, now we're flipping bushes again. Except this time, I finally hook up with one. I didn't get the catch on camera, but here is after I hooked it and got it in the boat. Sorry, but the camera wasn't on at that point. Okay. Get that ruler up under there. Up under. Under the console. <laughs> yeah, he's 15. Yeah. And so it's four hours into the tournament, and this is the first fish we actually got or hooked and got him in the boat. And so then we fished two more hours without a bite, and we, we figure out that, hey, we need to change. So we gun up, run about, I don't know, it's a long way, but we ran all the way down to the dam. And unfortunately, I didn't have the GoPro on at all. I didn't even video the catch whenever I got him. But anyways, I caught a 19 inch smallmouth and they had to be 18 inch, so he was a keeper. So, and so after we got him, we just kept fishing the dam till it was time to go, and then here's the way in. There you go. You told me you had five. Where? I was waving. Oh wow. I got one bite all day. That was good. We had three or four we couldn't capitalize on this. It's just like this. Picking it up and spitting it out. Go ahead, go on. I'm sorry. Here's one. Good, good. Zach Floyd is out of Knoxville, Tennessee. He fishes on his motorcycle. Zach does have one bass today in his bag. His, his weight today is going to be. Three pounds even like today for Zach Curley in eighth spot. Thank you. Kendall Gray is out of 
Armidas Kentucky fishes on the co-angler side. Kendall does have two bass today in his bag. His weight today is going to be four pounds, five ounces a day for you, Kendall, currently in third spot. Thank you. Good. What do you got to say, Jose? Now, as you saw there at that point, I was in third place with two fish going for four pounds, five ounces. That was really good because most co-anglers either didn't come in with anything off or they came in and scrapped up one fish just to weigh in. Now, in this event, they paid the top 15 boaters and the top 15 co-anglers. But, of course, I can't get that lucky because there were 16 more people with bigger fish than me put me down at 19th place with two fish. You know, I really didn't deserve 19th place with two fish. If I wanted to do better, I probably should have caught more fish, to be honest. In the co-angler part, I think there was like 72, 73 co-anglers that I fished against, and I got 19th out of those 70-something. That was my first time being on the lake, and I'm about 90% sure the pattern we was running was like outdated from two days. Now two days ago, I think flipping bushes would have been good, but the night before the tournament, they actually started drawing water. And from what I know, whenever they start drawing water, you know, I think that really had something to do with the bite because they just quit biting. Because, I mean, we fished the bushes for six hours and really got one fish, so, you know, there's something to do there. But anyways, I'm sorry that I had to do this voiceover thing, but I just didn't get much footage of the tournament. And by the way, I caught them both on a jig. I'd love to show you the color of the jigs, but... They are both at the bottom of the lake right now. So anyways, I'll see you later, and, you know, hopefully I can just do better next time.